Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I'd like to do a spread. I got it off a request from Twitter on Benjamin Keough, which is Lisa Marie Presley's son, who is a musician that passed away via suicide, gunshot in the mouth, a little while ago, a year or so ago. Not sure exactly, but been a little while. Um, so I just want to kind of like snoop around and see what, how, why, you know, what his energy is, um, you know, what he was going through, what his struggles were. So here we go. Benjamin Keough, Benjamin Keough. There we go. Well, that flew out. Ah, star in reverse. That's why. That just flew out. That just completely flew out. It's because he was not his grandfather. Yeah. That's what I heard, too. So it's crazy that popped out so aggressively. Here is the rest of the stack right here. So bottom line, he was being compared to as his, his grandfather, uh, Elvis. And uh, that was uh, apparently a ma major factor. And we have here the Knight of Wands. He just didn't feel he had the energy or the energy or, or enthusiasm to continue. And we have here the Queen of Cups in reverse. We knew that um, she would be in a very dark place once this came down, right? <clears throat> I'll put that there. And because she did become very emotional once she found out, obviously. And he was very emotional, knowing that he would be doing this and draining her, literally, uh, and removing himself from her love and her loving energy, mother energy. And so, yes, okay. And he did not, yeah, he really had no gumption to keep going. Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. So he didn't feel he had the artistic ability, talent, or the drive to do it. He just really burned out. He burned out and he didn't feel he could ever become or match up to what he thought he could become. And, you know, that's very guarded with the Seven of Wands, uh, trying to gain experience and being very defiant, trying to win, but he just wasn't winning. He didn't feel he was winning. And I think he was feeling like because it's underneath the Queen of Cups that he was disappointing his mother quite possibly, that it was a sort of a disappointment to everybody uh, in some respects. There was some sort of disappointment there and the happy family. Yeah. And it was affecting the family. You know, he was, he loved his family. He was happy with his family. Um, but this career situation was what drove him uh, because of this flying out so aggressively. So definitely that was the reason. And we have here the Queen of Swords in reverse. So he did not tell her of his, you know, he didn't give her the information. She never received any information. It's interesting I'm getting the queens in reverse here. Two queens in reverse, the cups and the swords. So he knew that, you know, she wouldn't love the idea and he didn't communicate the idea to her. And teamwork in reverse, he didn't feel he had a strong team or bandmates or whatever he was doing. He didn't feel that there was strength in it. He felt he needed more experience, he needed to gain experience, and he was feeling very defiant uh, with the team. And we have here the Empress upright, that would be the Lisa Marie Presley card also, the nurturing energy with the family. So she was a very nurturing, loving mother to, to her son, and he knew that and he loved her dearly because it is underneath the um, Ace of Cups. So, yeah, he knew he was going to really, really disappoint her. And that is what this is saying. Uh, and he didn't dare communicate any of this of his thought process to her um, whatsoever. And we have here the Ace of Pentacles, which can equal death. Ace of Pentacles is a death card also, along with the death card. So this also is a death card. So he did not communicate it to her. And it did create a feeling of total cruelty. He was losing sleep. He knew it would be, a, it would create some cruelty by taking himself out, 
next to the Ace of Pentacles there that it would cause a lot of sleepless nights for others, a lot of, you know, complete emotional bottom here, really, um, and just very dark days. It would create a lot of dark days for his mother, being aspected here. It would create a lot, a lot of dark days for the family and for the, any teamwork he did have or who people who he worked with. And he decided he wanted to leave. He was going to leave. He just decided this was an action he was going to take and he was going to overcome it. And it was a very quick decision, a quick move. This is a quick move card. So he made a quick decision and a quick move. Didn't probably give it a whole lot of thought. <clears throat> Under the surface, he knew that it wouldn't be fair, that it probably wasn't justified and uh, didn't want to be judged by it also. And it was really his own self-doubt and inner critic. Uh, that caused him to do it. He wasn't judging himself fairly. It was really his own perception of himself. And also, probably the judgment also, being judged against his grandfather, you know, was a very unfair, constantly being compared, uh, was not fair. Because this is uh, under the surface subconsciously, he hated being compared to his grandfather. And uh, it was just very unfair to compare him to him because they're totally different human beings, totally different set of parents, different set of skills. So he, he absolutely hated the comparison. Uh, consciously, he felt self-sacrifice, you know, like he was sacrificing himself uh, with, those compar with that comparison. And he did actually sacrifice himself. And that's funny, I have now also the devil card here. Um, underneath that hangman sacrifice card, the devil card, which in reverse, uh, the devil is the inability to change. Um, you know, when you're, a lot of times when you see the devil in reverse, um, it's exploring your dark thoughts too. So he was exploring his dark thoughts during that time frame. So yeah, his dark thoughts got him there, basically. It's his dark thoughts that got, got him there. And that's too bad, that's really sad. So let's get some cards and see how Lisa Marie Presley is hanging in there. Um, so it showed that she was a very loving, kind mother that he had to keep this from, obviously, because um, she wouldn't be happy with it. Let's find out how she is faring. How is she faring? How is she faring? How is Lisa Marie Presley faring? It's not something you're ever going to get over. But hopefully she's, hopefully she's okay. How is Lisa Marie Presley doing? How is Lisa Marie Presley doing? How is she doing? There we go. That one's the first card. She is the high priestess right now. So she is keeping the secrets about his life to herself. The whatever things were said, she's keeping it to herself. She's staying private. And... Yeah, she's staying private about the Knight of Swords, about he kind of went to war with himself, basically. And the just do it, he went to war with himself. And he made this decision to go to new land. It's also go to new land. Going to the other side is kind of like going to new land. And we have here, he decided he didn't want to work at it anymore. He just, it wasn't paying off. That hard work he put into it just never felt like it paid off. So he felt like a failure, and she was, she's keeping those secrets uh, to herself. She doesn't want people to know how he felt like a failure, and he felt like he was a burden. And so she is kind of burdened by the fact that he felt this comparison. She feels bad about it. She feels burdened that he feels that he had this comparison thing going on. She's burdened by the fact that he went to war with himself, um, that he was harshly judging himself, that nothing was paying off. Um, and she also is trying to be stable within the home, despite this burden. Uh, they're trying to be a stable, happy home. And this is not something you're ever going to get over. The tower in reverse is you never can rebuild. So she will never get over it, which is pretty normal. And he is no longer self-imposed. He is no longer self-imposed restrictions on trying to continue to... to um, to pursue it because he removed himself and the burden and uh, the partnership went into reverse as a result and 
uh, lovers in reverse because she cannot give him any love. You know, there, lo lovers doesn't have to, it can be, you know, platonic also. Um, so partnership, lovers, everything went into reverse w in terms of his life with her and everybody in the family. And he basically got out of stormy waters. He got out of stormy waters and um, took himself out. Yeah, another death card. And it made her, you know, realize what she lost. The Queen of Pentacles uh, is a woman who is, you know, very nurturing and uh, resourceful. And so he knew that she would be very resourceful um, after the fact, that she would be very, really resource, that she's a resourceful person. He probably felt that she could pick herself up, but he knew he would, it would be a 10 of swords. So she, she has been at a 10 of swords rock bottom, but she is resourceful. She's trying to heal, trying to get out of those stormy waters. He got out of stormy waters. She's trying to get out of stormy waters. All the partnerships went into reverse. And we have here <clears throat> that um, he just didn't feel like he was making the money and he wasn't loving the situation. So he wanted to make a lot of money. He wanted to be self-sufficient and be uh, fulfilled. And he felt that he was making the family unhappy because it wasn't working out. There was a lack of accomplishment with the world in reverse. And the Just Do It card with the wands, the creative energy, and the Page of Swords in reverse. So he wanted to have the energy and the enthusiasm, but he burned out and he just didn't feel that the path was the right one for him and that he didn't have the voice for it either uh, or the intellect and probably the skill with the sword there. <clears throat> and the Hierophant is the institution card and going along with conformity. So the conformity was expected of him to sort of live up to the family name. But with the eight in reverse, he didn't feel he can overcome that. Um, that that was something that he can never overcome. That he can never match up and be what was expected of him or live up to the family name and, and skill and talent as his grandfather. And so we have here also the King of Cups, you know, uh, with the Five of Swords in reverse, uh, conflict in reverse. He was never conflicted about his love for him or, you know, loving the man that he was, um, Elvis. Um, I would feel this is Elvis. And he never felt conflicted about um, wanting to be like him because he, uh, he did like him. He did feel he had that um, loving energy. And then I also have here star in reverse once again. He did not feel he could be what his grandfather was. And so that is the bottom line there with that situation. So yeah, he sadly, it's, he couldn't match up. He couldn't measure up. And that's why he did what he did. So I'm going to keep this short because my battery is going low. I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, like and subscribe. Bye.